what's up everybody so i figured i would make a little uh showcasing video of the recent purchase i made because i'm very um financially irresponsible and i love cars <laughs> but uh, there's a nice fun story to go along with it but uh rutledge wood dropped a video today on his youtube channel uh, going over his Subaru Sandbar, supercharged Subaru Sandbar uh, K truck that he just bought. So I figured, hey, I'll jump on the bandwagon of uh, videos going over cars today. So if you, that's a wasp, you can get. Um, if you don't, if you're not subscribed to him or whatever on uh, YouTube, be sure to check it out. Uh, really cool sandbar he's got some really cool stuff in store for it can't wait be fun just to follow along on his little journey of his sandbar because every sandbar has got its own little story so maybe check that out after if you're bored but uh if you're not bored and you want to check out the mini hang around <laughs> so let's see when i was little I don't, I'm not good with numbers, but I was in elementary school. Uh, I am from San Diego. So down in Pacific Beach on like Grand or Garnett, one of those streets that runs into uh, the ocean, there was a guy that had a garage or a little shop and he had a Mini Cooper. And I'm not sure if I was really aware of Mini Coopers at that time, or I just loved the fact that the car was so small. I was like, I really want that car. And I had, you know, I had some money saved up at the bank, maybe like two or three thousand dollars or something. Back then, that was a lot for me, but nothing, not near enough to purchase a car like this. So I think the guy was asking, like, I I'm making this up. I, I could be wrong, but it's like five grand. And so I asked my parents, you know, can I have the rest of the money to buy this mini? Well, being little, changing my mind all the time, you know, they're like, nah. And it could have been a huge project, which. You know hindsight i wish we would have got it because then it would have been a really cool project to work on through my youth if i could stay focused on it but i'd say i've wanted one of these for 20 plus years it probably could have been a really fun project but that's okay um then a guy moved in down the street from us and he actually had a mini cooper and i hopped on my skateboard rode down to his house and i was like hey you know i got five grand saved up you know will you sell your mini and no he wasn't going to sell his mini either he had it since he was in high school and he was gonna he ended up splitting it in half spreading it apart a couple inches put it on a, a miata uh, subframe and put a hayabusa motor in the back and his mini's crazy i can't remember what he calls it but it's a, literally a little rocket ship Hi, Puito. so anyways i've just always wanted a mini cooper and then finally when i got like a real job i purchased a newer mini cooper it's a 2005 which is an r53 cooper s and i figured well that's the extent of getting a mini for me because these are very expensive and really complicated to try to import and all that stuff i mean at the time obviously now i know a lot more about importing cars but back then I was just like, there's no way. I'll just get a new Mini Cooper and then I'll have the luxury of a newer vehicle. So I do love my Mini Cooper S. I'm on the second engine. I rebuilt the engine that's in it now because we raced it, raced it out and blew it up. But anyways, I love that car. But I always told myself one day I'll get a Mini Cooper and have like the R53. And then this one I believe is a Mark V is the body style. So I was like, I'll get an original classic mini. It'd be really cool. And then that stemmed into K cars and K trucks because I just love small cars. I just really, really, really love small vehicles. They're so cool. I never fully understood the big SUV, the big truck, the big car mentality I, just, I never got there i mean the biggest car i had was a ford ranger that i lifted like i just was not a huge car guy I just never was into it always loved small vehicles because they're just so it's so cool how they 
crammed so much, you know, some of them, so much power under that little tiny hood and just their little tiny go-karts essentially. So, I mean, I had a Ford Festiva, which, you know, was probably not much bigger than the Mini. I uh, obviously had the Mini Cooper, all my K cars, K trucks, K vans. And like I said, I just love small cars. I just, and I always wanted a Volkswagen Beetle. My dad had one and I just thought one day I was gonna get a Volkswagen Bug because those are super cool or the Volkswagen van. Just always digged just the small cars. It's just something that just triggers in my brain when I see something small and I just, I gotta have it just, you know, car wise and stuff like that. <laughs> Don't take that the wrong way. Although my girlfriend is small, so I, I like her, she's small. <laughs> and I like ducks and pollitos, they're small. So anyways, this came up uh, on Facebook Marketplace and my buddy uh, Scott Special K's, um, I had told him that I was always in uh, the market for finding a Mini Cooper. And I had looked in auctions and a lot of them in Japan that come over they're usually pretty rusty because they come from the UK, which they get pretty rusty in the UK, and then they'll get pretty rusty in Japan. So if you're not spending a lot of money, you're probably gonna get a pretty rusty uh, Mini Cooper, which would be pretty depressing if you spend quite a bit of money on it, and then you get over here and it's just a, you know, a bucket of bolts. So I had just kind of kept that out there, and Scott sent me a Facebook marketplace link to a mini that was for sale about three hours from us up in Oak Harbor um, which is super super random in itself because we had just gone camping in Deception Pass to the uh, exactly one month later before prior to going to see this so it's like we just made that same route exactly one month after camping Deception Pass so super super random but anyways, he's up there, super cool guy. Went up there on Saturday, told him I'd come look at it. And I was dead serious about purchasing it. And we went up there Saturday, looked at it. I offered him a price and he said, when can you get it? And me and Scott went back up the very next day in the morning and towed this, towed this sexy beast home. And now it is here and I <laughs> am just so, so excited for this thing it is just so much fun to drive just imagine just kind of reminds me of like the go-karts you used to be able to buy at like costco just very bumpy stiff steering is just really like everything is just so like uh what's the word i'm looking for just very responsive so when you're driving this thing you really got to be in control because it just it wants to go all over the place not scary wise just it's just very, very responsive and just so much fun. And the second you hit the gas pedal, it's like, pew, just wants to go. So there is some issues with it. Uh, it is dual carbureted, which I'll, I'll show all that. And uh, I'm not sure if there's an issue with the, the carbs not being synced. Um, he, I think the guy who had it before me had bought it not running and he got it running. So there's some new parts on it. Looks like a new distributor cap new plug wires, had new spark plugs in it. Um, so it looks like he was messing with the ignition possibly. I'm not sure, I don't know the whole story on it, but uh, it turns out I was doing an oil change on it and the timing was so retarded on it that it was about, I mean, the tick mark was about an inch away from where the uh, advanced or the degree marks were. So it had been backfiring pretty much been backfiring out the intake at certain points in the throttle. And I thought back, there's a guy, traffic hazard with a sandbar, and he's like, yeah, I think my timing is way off because I'm getting backfires out the intake. You know, I think it might be retarded. It needs to be advanced. And so I started thinking about that. So I got the timing light out after I had changed the oil on it. And sure enough, the timing was way off. So I did advance a little bit. I still need to do some tweaking with it. It's a lot, it's Kalina, Gallete. It's about probably 80% fixed. There's just a little, 
there's some little hesitation but that could be you know spark plugs or something i gotta just check some stuff over see if i can fix some things but other than that this thing drives hey i'll be right back kalina i had to go rescue my patita because the pollitos want to go into the coop and bother her while she's nesting an egg so anyways enough story let's uh let's show you guys the mini so height wise i mean it's it's up to my little below my chest so they're very small uh lengthwise i want to say i mean it's a little bit it might be a little bit shorter than the k vans um but width wise they're about the same width as a k van um Let's see what else what else can we show so what's really cool about this this certain mini is there's different versions of minis there's a typical mini and then you have yours by john cooper so the newer minis like the r50s and up are john cooper works and so that's like a souped up mini from bmw because bmw bought mini in 2000 so that's when the body changed to the newer ones obviously that you see all the time so this one actually went to a john cooper garage which means that they uh did kind of like a big bore on it almost like bored out the head or something and raised the valves or something i have to do some more research on it but we can pop the hood right here and then this you can see the 998 cc's of power under here so there's our dual carburetors. Those are dash pots. I'm learning things. Those things that look like beer bottles on the top. So dual intake uh, filters. There's your distributor down there and your coil, your alternator. And so the, the uh, radiator is actually sideways. So you have a constant fan, constant. It's not a clutch or anything. So that's constantly running and then which would be cool to delete that fan and put an electric fan on that side just so it's less drag on the engine. But then you have like a polar fan in there. So it's pulling in cool air. I think there's a scoop like right behind there. It could be, I think there's a scoop right behind there. But I, uh, I ended up putting some different spark plugs in it and the gap was a hair bigger so i'm going to change it back just so i can try to figure out you know if there's a timing issue and i can figure that stuff out but if any of you are watching this and you are gurus with the dual carbs these are uh su hs2 su carbs i think i don't know anything about them i need to do a bunch of research so i can figure out how to make sure that they are tuned correctly so I can try to figure out this this uh, timing. I think it's a timing issue. But there's our squirt bottle for the windshield wipers. It does have disc brakes, which is really cool. So it's kind of upgraded. And there's the little tiny reservoir for the brakes. That's the reservoir for the clutch, the slave cylinder, whatever you call it. Um, there's our fuel filter. Yeah, so that's a little tiny engine, which is super, gonna be super fun to fix up. That's our heater right there, literally just opens up that uh, hose right there and the hot coolant goes inside, which is crazy. The suspension on this thing is just bonkers. There's no coils or anything. It's literally just rubber pucks. It's just, this car is gonna be a learning, a learning experience although i've wanted one my entire life i don't know a whole lot about them and i'm i did back when i was younger but i gotta re-up on all that knowledge so what's really cool is this has these little quick release knobs so you can take this off the front of this thing comes off and then you can i'll just take it off i changed the oil in it yesterday put a K&N oil filter all right so let's take these off and i have these like they call them whiskers the trim i have those coming and i plan on just painting it all black so it'll and then we plan on wrapping it so it'll be a nice black and i'll get rid of the chrome it's just like my other mini i kind of de-chromed it but this comes off and there is 
the new k and oil filter. I kind of cleaned up the engine a little bit. Here's your motor mount. It's got a wicked skid plate down there. So that's fun to try to take off so you don't drip oil everywhere. But it uses 20W50. 20W50 motor oil because the engine shares oil with the gearbox. So it's bathing in its own fluids all over the place which is crazy but these look like new spark plug wires kind of looks like a new cap but yeah down here there's right there that's the tick timing marks and the mark was just way up above those like teeth so i'm still messing around with that see if we can figure that out the guy did uh, put these like little eyelids on it which looks kind of cool it looks droopy eyed <laughs> looks a little droopy and then he he swapped out the old headlights with some leds which are really bright they're really nice um so the mark 5 that i'm learning uh mark 5 might have been the first year i can't remember that came with um like the wheel wells because the mark 5 came with 12 inch wheels which i think these are 12s just yeah so the, that Mark V was like the first year that came with 12 inch wheels, I believe. Typically they're 10 inch wheels that you're used to seeing, like they call them the banana, just the multi-spoke ultralights. Um, these are really cool revolution wheels. I'd like to see how much those go for, cause they look British. But no, there's the, the spring. I mean, not the spring, the strut. And then inside there's just like a dampener. It's just the wildest thing. No spring back here, it just has like a trailing arm or a torsion bar. And then there's like a rubber, a rubber puck thing right there, there it is. And you basically can get a smaller one of those and you can lower it and it has a, there's the strut in there. The struts are like six inches long. And Gaz, who makes uh, uh, struts or lowering springs and stuff for the K cars, Gaz, G-A-Z, actually makes them for the mini. So. I'm gonna purchase those. Is that my shoot? My uh, compressor's going off. That's weird. Okay, so there we go. And then it's got the classic, the mini straight shooter right out the back stinger which is super cool muffler kind of like the newer minis well the s's the s's have the exhaust pipes coming out the center and then your typical normal mini comes off to the side so that looks really trick with that single single exhaust pipe coming out the back here's your gas tank about six gallon gas tank so this opens up the boot so in the boot this is your Typical mini wheel with like, I think they call it the bananas or something, banana spokes. Here's your gas tank, which I need to get this filler neck seal so when it rains it doesn't drip into the car. Actually, it feels like the seal's on it. What is that? Oh no, that's just the padding. There's the battery. And the craziest thing about this is all the bolts are standard. I didn't, I didn't know that. So all the bolts are standard, nothing's metric. So you gotta get get your standard sockets and wrenches out. That closes up, it has back speakers in it. So I gotta rig up a radio because there's no radio in it. These back windows, they're hinged. So they just kind of prop open. Let's go inside. Very, very, basic inside i mean not a whole lot going on so you got your your temp gauge and smith's is like i don't know some pretty pretty good gauges for the european british cars i guess because those gauges are very expensive it's got a john cooper speedometer which is super cool so very basic smith uh, oil pressure gauge uh, you got your choke, some kind of brake light, I guess, 
protect your brake lights, I suppose. Defroster, rear defroster, your hazards, headlights, and here's your heater. It's obviously a screen, which is your front windshield or the car, and it's actually really hot. Works really good. But I think I'll probably try to do a carpet kit in here and kill mat and just kind of tone it down noise-wise in here because, you know, it's pretty noisy. There's where a tachometer would go, just like the newer minis. The newer minis have the tachometer right in front of you and the speedometer in the center. So Smith's makes a tachometer. It's about 400 bucks. So maybe I'll save up some money and do a cool tachometer. But it's got this really cool wood steering wheel real wood i accidentally boogered it up i put some seats in here that he gave me when i bought it and they rubbed up against the steering wheel which is a bummer kind of gave me splinters when it was sliding around <laughs> in my hand cooper moto lita i think it's italian maybe uh there's your cool clutch pedal your brake pedal your gas pedal electric fan exhaust light so it's kind of like the k cars where if this light's going on it's getting really hot so it probably means your catalytic converters plugged up um here's the vents just like the new minis where you turn that and it opens up the vents which is crazy i should say the new minis are like this because these are the ogs wipers work <laughs> you got the little tiny mirror <laughs> little tiny rear view mirror dome light works back seat looks comfortable and there's like the little hatches so you can open up the rear windows these are just like the new minis are just like this too where it just has this funky pull handle for the door a little leather strap that's how you lock it right here Boink. i gotta have the door shut you can't lock it just like the other k cars um windows obviously roll up and down four speed so it is a four speed transmission and to get it into reverse you got to pull up and then back so that was confusing when i first got it we could not get it into reverse and i thought i was going to break it and scott was like maybe you push up or pull up on it and sure enough boink, you pull up on it reverse uh your e-brake some kill mat uh cool little dash i'll kind of clean up the dash a little bit i really want to try to restore this thing really nice again just because i've always wanted one of these cars and it would just be this is the car to really take time on and make good i mean it is pretty good right now but make better i should say and we're thinking of going with like a a matte red wrap and black and then i'll black everything out get rid of the chrome I'm just, it's such a surreal moment when you get a car that you've always wanted. I know this isn't, you know, if you can afford your dream car, it's, it's the weirdest feeling that you've wanted a car for so long. And then one day it's sitting in your backyard. And obviously that's not an ideal situation for everybody. My car is not, you know, a half a million dollar car. <laughs> it is quite substantially less. But I've always wanted a classic Mini Cooper. And it's just so much fun to drive. And it's going to be such a fun little project car. And there are a lot of guys out there with YouTubes and parts and stuff like that. So it's great that parts are still readily available for it. So I don't think I'm going to do a whole lot of stocking of Mini Cooper parts. But um, if somebody gets a Mini Cooper and a K car, you know, I could hopefully, you know, I can be somewhat beneficial in both areas, K cars and Mini Coopers. But yeah, that's my little dream car right there. And it's gonna be a process for sure. Learning, huge learning curve, different engine, different carburetors, different suspension, just everything about this car is different, different different part locations like i can't just go in japan and get parts for it like i got to start searching for stuff in the uk and that's just going to be a huge learning curve because i feel like i have the japanese market jdm market pretty down down pretty well 
but this is just a whole different ball game now. So it'll be interesting to see, you know, how that all turns out. But cool. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for sticking around, listening to me babble about my my dream car. <laughs> Finally here. Almost forgot. Need to show the patitos because you guys hang around for the patitos. Oh, careful, patita. She tripped. It's Patita, Snowflake. Ah, golden guy, old grandpa. And that's his predecessor right there on the other side. Getting some food and some water and sunshine. She's up in the coop right now, nesting on an egg. So we'll see what happens. Maybe I'm gonna be a grandpa pretty soon. All right, okay, garage out. But yeah, cool. Thanks for watching guys. See you on hopefully the Honda Acti lowering video soon. Okay, bye.